This is Theda Nairi. This is Patriot Sherman Fox. And this is David Lynch. And you're listening to The Culture Club. Take a picture, man. Get a last longer. Get the gas on them. Get a dance on them. Take no chance on them. Get the cash on them. Flip it fast on them. Take off the mask. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's going on, people? Hey! Hey, 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 Well, hey. as y'all see, we have a new title. It is now The Culture Club. The Culture Club! It used to be For The Culture for people who haven't seen the old ones yet, yeah. or heard the old ones yet. I forgot there was a camera right over there. Yeah, we have a camera <laughs> yeah. now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so now okay, we'll be filming me. as well, so we'll be on YouTube here. I forgot. And again, like we everybody we know, my name is David Linton, D. Linton, whatever you want to call me. To my right, I have... Petra Sherbin Fox. And across I have. Theta and I read. What up? All right, so you don't have to look at the camera. We can just. Okay, cool. It's just us. It's just <laughs> I feel filming like I gotta talk to the camera. <laughs> it's just I can't look the camera. I'm like. <laughs> yeah, it's just filming. <laughs> All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, so what's been going on, people? Man, a lot. A whole lot. Man. A whole freaking lot. Yeah. I had a rough couple. It's going away for a couple weeks. And you're like, yeah, this would be really fun. I'm gonna have to do any wifely things. You thought it was gonna be fun? You're a single parent. But no, because sometimes I want the bed to myself. Oh, true. I don't want to have to cook. True. I don't want to have, you know, like. You have a queen size bed? King. Oh, yeah, that's nice. But still, like, and I'm pregnant, so yeah, I need yeah, extra yeah. space. Yeah, 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 you need that. Yeah, you need that. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool. I'm going to be, you know, chilling. But it's like the first two days, I'm like, all right, I can do this. Yeah. Then you forgot. Then that you all got hell broke Yeah, you forgot. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. come back. <laughs> oh, my God. I was crying. Aww. The kids was driving me crazy. Man. And, and you just moved, too. And I just, The house <laughs> is still in boxes. Oh, yeah. So I'm still, like, going through boxes to get things out of there because I can't really move them much. Yeah. It just was crazy. But we made it through. Oh, good for you. <laughs> we made it. One, one less thing to... Uh, yeah. So, about. everybody, if they have things go on, uh, I started a new podcast. Yes, yeah, you did. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, he did. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't tell us. Just right. sent us the link. Like, oh, no, no, no I told no, y'all. He before. did tell us. He I did, did tell us. Oh, he said, so I'm gonna be doing a new podcast. Yeah. It's starting on Sunday. I yeah. said, oh, damn, it's 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 it's. Saturday. I don't. I don't yeah. recall. <laughs> but I was told like three days before it too. So we put it together. Uh, talk that sh with Mary Sunshine and Eddie Munster, but. It's cool. It's a different feel. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, live like, on Facebook. I like that y'all interact with, because I commented on the last one that y'all did, and she read, um, Mary Sunshine read my comment on... Yeah, Elijah the posted that, that on their cool. account. Yeah, he did. So stupid. What did you see that comment? Oh, what did he say? He's like, hi, it's Elijah. <laughs> That's it. Um, and what? He's like, how long you been bald? <laughs> <laughs> but me and, and Eddie are both bald. bald. So he don't know who he was talking to, but he was talking to I answered, I answered. That's really funny. I was like, um, Elijah, get off of it. <laughs> Craziness. That's but funny. yeah. It, it, I mean, it is cool. I, 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 I watched it. I wasn't able to watch it yet, um, the other day, but you guys do it I watched the first one. Every it was, Sunday. Every Sunday. Yeah, yes. it was pretty cool. Y'all vibe pretty well. Yeah, yeah we're good, good friends. And I think that would made it. That's the reason why we did it, because we will hang out over there. We used to be friends just hanging out. And we would start having a conversation to turn into an argument to turn back to a conversation. Like, we should make this a then it take us back to our childhood, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so it was yeah, like a therapy a session. But like, we're good friends. Uh, Mary and Kenny are getting married. Married soon. I mean, they're just they're dope people. So it's just, it was a real cool idea for them to put together. That's good. They have a good balance too. I like them too. Yeah, they're they're really cool. They're a power couple in there in like a lot of ways. Like Goals. yeah, military. They both they both working together with beliefs over acceptance. It's mm -hmm. a lot of things they're doing. That's I really like. I really appreciate them, and I really like look up to them a lot. That's yeah, that's dope. Yeah. And to be able to have that kind of forum too, you sit down and have these conversations that people don't really necessarily want to talk right. about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all have very different perspectives yes we do um and that makes it for a good a good uh little balance yeah. too <clears throat> that dope. so the news has been wild recently we had a lot of things happen we know we let we got jesse smollett is no longer the charges were dropped charges completely dropped on him yeah but he was still guilty we don't but we don't they know that say, no he didn't say that Nobody has nobody official has said that. We don't know that. The said. sheriff said that, but he was butt hurt. So we don't really know what happened. <laughs> because like I said before, it seemed it seemed weird that the whole story came out so fast. It's so weird. That they had that much information that quick. Then it it gets away 
But I mean, there's a lot of theories on it. He could have been guilty. He could not have been guilty. Really, I don't, I don't care. care. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I didn't know who Jesse Smollett was before this case. Yeah. I know who he was. I met him. In I know person. who Journey Smollett is. Oh yeah, everyone knows who Journey yeah, is. My girl right there. I met Who's Journey? Smollett. His sister. His sister. His oldest sister. She played in Ease by You. <laughs> She used to have red Ooh, you hair. went way back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she went way back. You never seen... She was uh, also in Underground. Underground and The Great Debaters. The Great Debaters, I know She's that movie. She's the, the mixed girl with dark hair. Um, she played like one of the main... Just look know. up. She was, look I'm going to have to look she was, the, she was the only girl on the team, I think. Yeah, you, was you, she? Once you see I, her, you'll you be like, oh, okay. okay. I know who, yeah. You know exactly Her first she. film, I think, was... Uh, He's by you. No, she was in Jack... With Robin Williams, where he's uh he has oh, yeah. he, she was in yeah, that, yeah, and then yeah, she yeah. used to play in Full House. She used to appear in a couple episodes on Full House. The girl with the curly hair. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's Journey. Yeah, that's Journey Bell. I know who that is. Yeah. Yeah. Now, okay. Yeah. When you when you say Full House, I'm the only yeah mixed girl. Yeah. She, was, she what's her name's like, friend? <coughs> Michelle's friend. Yeah. yeah she used yeah. to have like red hair. Anyway. I didn't know I, I didn't know who Jesse Smollett was before anyway. So yeah, he was Empire. But that's something yeah. I really. That's I, how I. That's how I was introduced him was Empire, and then when I was in Japan, the Empire cast came out there. Okay. I, I got to meet. Um. All, well, I didn't get close one on ones, but. You got to meet them. You got enough. to see who they were. I saw them in person. I took pictures of them. That, right. that works for me. <laughs> well, uh, the, the Empire was cool first season. Nah. After that, I got yeah, I, I fell off. Yeah, I didn't so watch trash. it anymore. Speaking yeah. of things getting canceled, we were just talking about Black Lightning. Yeah, Black Lightning's getting canceled. Yeah, Luke Cage just got canceled. Yeah, and a lot of things are getting canceled because how many? There's a lot of last season stuff coming up this year. Well, yeah, I mean, but also those things have been going on for a while Let's usually. Like but the like these shows. It being canceled, um, and I remember Theta asked me about if it's about it being a black show being canceled. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think if they were just trash shows. shows. But I think there are a lot of trash shows that are still on. But, but they, they have really a depends. following. If they have a following, uh, people sure. watch it. It's like you know, like the Ratchet TV. Man, that's sh- that people right. really right. they still watching it, it and die. even still, people are like, okay, let's get over it. Yeah. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of that. But. Yeah, they still watch I it. Want it to yeah. die. The Real so, Housewives. Yeah, I mean, it's, all I mean, it's, it's it's um. But they inter- have a following. It's entertaining. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it's still it's still not. Turn on any of your top culture podcasts, and you're gonna hear something about them. Mm-hmm. They're everywhere. You yeah. you will, you see it in the news. You see it on in the radio. Everywhere it is about. So mm-hmm. that's gonna always be there. Yeah. Um. So beyond that, but like with with Luke Cage scripted shows that are black shows are being dropped. I think that. They were just trash. I mean, they they had a good message, they had a good idea, but they put it together the wrong way. Yeah. But do you think it possibly it could be that what they're trying to the message they're trying to convey, the public isn't ready to receive? Because Ratchet TV really, I mean, it kind of just solidifies the lack of substance that goes on in this world. And then now, so it's like you when know, you, when yeah, you but I don't, I don't yeah. think that's Slim the case. Ways, no. I don't think that's the case because if that were the case, then we wouldn't have shown up for Black Panther. If that was the case, then we wouldn't be all in for Jordan, Jordan Peele. Peele. Okay. If that was the case, then we wouldn't have Blackish. We wouldn't have shows like that that are actually in, a, in uplifting to us yeah. because if the only thing we're watching are the ratchet shows, then everything else should be gone. That's true. But Blackish, I think, has a, a, a big enough following <laughs> of white people. I love Blackish. I don't think it has a big, a, 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 as big of a following white people. And you it's think on it ABC, is. on ABC too. I think that makes it that plays a different, that plays a part. Yeah, but it's not, right now nobody's watching it on ABC. I watch it on Hulu. I like Blackish. Yeah, but where do you watch it? Not on ABC. Hulu. Right, and everybody find. And so I don't think so. It being on ABC at this point to say something's on a certain network, I think is irrelevant. Good. Yeah. Because you're not watching it on, on that, that, on that network, network right. unless it's CBS. Because CBS is jerks and they only want to have their shows on <laughs> CBS. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, sure. So, but beyond that, I mean, you can get anything anywhere else. True. So I think that Blackish has a larger. Maybe it do, it does probably have a white following, but I don't think it's nowhere near. And Tracy Ellis Ross is pretty big. Yeah, you know Anthony I mean, Anderson. Anthony is Anthony huge. Anderson is Marcy pretty Martin. Big. She's making a name yeah, for herself. So. Yeah. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, yeah. So they have Jennifer. They have some big Jennifer Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, Jennifer Lewis, the mama. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so they have they some big hitters on the on this. Yeah, show. so I mean, so it's gonna have it's a and it's a good show. Yeah, it's a good show. Yeah, it and it's well written. It's yeah. a good show. It still fights against things that we see every day, yeah. and we actually get a way to look. But at But they it. present it in like a funny manner. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I like the show. 
I, I, I didn't go. I didn't get catch on to it until recently. Really? Yeah. It's been on for a it's, while. It's, yeah. But I think I like seven mean, seasons. Yeah. 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 This went on. But I don't. I'm not really big on TV. Yeah, yeah you did say that. I was, was just saying that. Yeah, they've been on for a while. Oh, I thought you said it just went off the air. I thought that was no. Oh God, no. <laughs> I would not be this calm. There's a new. <laughs> there's a new episode. I haven't watched it yet. I didn't know there was a new episode. Yeah. Grownish is the a spin-off. spinoff. Yeah. With Yara I've Shigi. heard of Grownish. Um, I like Grownish. It's a little bit cringy though. Um, but I do like it. They have uh, good actors and actresses in it. The reason why I just say it's cringy is because it's just like looking in a mirror. Oh. So like the the things that she's like freaking out over, like her friends aren't texting her back. I'm like, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. That, and it really, it really is. It's like, and I like the way they did it. And if you really, really go back and look at the whole scheme of it, it's the same thing with the Cosby Show. Yeah. You had the Cosby Show, and then, and then you, you had, had a different, different world. world. Yeah. So yeah. it's the exact same thing. Yeah. And so the daughter just went there, and I saw a preview of the son going there. So he's going to be part. Of, he, he's not going to be there. Yeah. But he's going to be in, in a few episode. scenes. Oh, okay. Where he was at her college. Cool. And I saw scenes from that from, I don't know where I saw the previews, but I saw that. And I thought that was cool. And I think that we need a new space like that. Yeah. Because there's no one in that cast is yeah. going to end up a being a Bill Cosby. Yeah, I can't see it. There's no one. That, well, I don't know about the kids yet. We don't know the kids right, yet. The kids but none. Yeah. But I'm talking. We don't care about the kids at this point. It's about Anthony it's Anderson. Anthony. It's about Lawrence Fishburne. It's about yeah, Tracy Ellis Ross. It's about Jennifer Lewis. It's about them. them yeah. And long as they have never and will never do anything like that, then this is a show that we know that we can keep. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is our new f- Fresh Prince of Bel Air, yeah. Martin yeah. shows that we yeah. can actually hold on to. Yeah. And it's so it sucks because the Bill Cosby show was such an amazing show, but it lost. I still watch. It. I, I watch. Mean, yeah. That's not a problem. But, but I, I was having a conversation with a friend who was saying that those were our heroes growing up, yeah. and I was like, it wasn't my hero. Yeah, no, definitely not my hero. And either. he was like, that show, Family Matters, those were those were heroes for the black community growing up because they said that they didn't see those things. I mean, I'm and in that not. sense, I get. It. Yeah. But I had that. I had my father uh, in right. the house. Yeah, and but I don't. I, I I don't think I ever looked at it like that's my hero. No, right. It, it, I, I think it was, it was entertaining. It was right. entertaining, and I don't think I really understood the lessons behind them until now that I'm watching it with my kids. Right. Yeah. And now you're like, oh, look what they're mm-hmm. trying to teach. You know. I think it was just that was our normal thing. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We had Martin. It was funny. And it looked and like yeah, us. We got to see like, a representation right, of us. So right, it was. Right. So I didn't want to see. Full house. Right. I'd rather go see Watch the something. Fresh Prince, right. Yeah. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Same amount of kids yeah. almost. That's what I'd rather see. Yeah. And I it, am. It made it made so much more sense to watch that show than watch one of these other shows that didn't look like me. So I'm like, it really I didn't have a familiarity. You know what? It. Lately I've been um on this whole thing where I've been like trying to a lot of people don't know about um living single. Oh my God. A lot of people it, it, don't know crazy. about living single. I didn't know that. And yeah. um they'll be like, A lot of people Do you watch- what age? Um, so my age, so oh, my really? age, yeah. So like, do well, you watch you know Friends? She's, yeah. she's not that young. Yo, I'll be twenty eight <laughs> in two months. She's not that young. I'm saying she's okay. not that young. Woo-wee. I'm about to be, I'm about to be thirty this year. <laughs> oh, thirty five. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh. All right, you got it. You get it. <laughs> They'd be like, "Do you watch Friends?" Oh my God, Friends is on Netflix. I'm like, "Nah, I watch Living Single." I watch both. Nah, I don't, I don't think Living Single was as big. And what was the other? Well, one? Living Single um, came out first. Living Single came out first, and they took the concept and made friends. Friends, right? But I'm saying I don't think Living Single was that big of a show. It could have been. I'm, Why? I'm, how? I, I don't. That's what I'm saying. How? I just feel like it if, if it came out because the thing is, it came out if it came out first. I don't know what network it was. If on. it came out first, and they, they they copied the whole concept from another to another show that got really big, how could that show been bigger? Well, if the cast wasn't African American. I feel like the reason why Friends was bigger was because it was a white cast. Well, that so that show, so Living America. Single, couldn't have been bigger. No, it couldn't have been because right. of the because it was an African American cast. And why is that? Because people want to see a representation of themselves on television, right? And if the United States is seventy percent white, what are they going to more go to? Let me say this: Living Single was a better show content wise than Friends to me. But is it because you're able to relate? To you're it? able to relate to yeah, it more. I guess so. And same thing with the other side. Like, it's and I, so I, so I don't care about how big a show is. It's more about what it meant to people. Okay. Now, do I believe the actors and the people worked on the show should have made more money? Absolutely. Yeah. I think that there should have been a more of an impact. I think they should have not looked at it as numbers of how many people are watching it, but the impact it made on people's lives. Mm-hmm. So if you can try to find a way to monetize that, because 
I know they did. You know they had commercials right. that went straight to those people. people. And I bet it was hair commercial. I bet it was some hair products. I bet it was some makeup product. Something that black people were going to go buy that made that company a whole lot of money. Mm-hmm. So if they were taking that and would put it back into the actors and the cast of, and the, the crew of the show, yeah, I think it'd be, that made sense. But really look at it like... This show should have been as big as that show. No, it shouldn't have because it's not going to be the same amount of people watching it. Mm. It's like um, I didn't really like Seinfeld when I was growing up. But Seinfeld is a funny show. It is now. I haven't yeah. watched. I've never. But watched see, it. growing up, it wasn't, it wasn't funny. funny. It, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't our type. But I did like Frasier growing up. Yeah, I like right. Frasier. Frasier was dumb. Frasier was hilarious yeah. growing up. My mom watched that. So, but that. it was the, the the concepts and the jokes and the, yeah. the type of con- the type of sarcasm was like as a child you can't understand that. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now you're like, oh, this was totally yeah. especially when especially you being from New York and when I moved to New York, I start seeing he some of the things he was talking about. You're like. Oh, oh okay. okay. Now I understand. Yeah. Now I get it. It's Living Single was one of, the, and I also think like who was a big hitter on Living Single? Queen uh, Latifah. Yeah. Besides her, TC uh, TC Carson. Yeah. At the time. Yeah. At, the time. Yeah. At, the At the time. time. Right. So like I think Queen Latifah was big then. Oh, and uh uh um, uh, oh, what was her name? Tootie. 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 Yeah, Tootie. Yeah, Tootie. She, she was, was huge at the time. She was huge at the time, but then she passed, didn't she? No. Who am I thinking of that passed? The chick from the Parkers? No. I don't know that. Somebody from that show? No, I feel like I, the, the name Tootie and um I I I'm I think I'm I think I'm uh oh. I think I have the wrong show. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but nah, there, 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 there were some decent people on the show. And then since Queen Latifah was on the show, it, it brought was, in everybody. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's just like how Martin, being Martin, brought in everybody, everybody to his to show. show. Queen Latifah mm-hmm. brought people to her Black show. Black Lightning was on, he was Scooter. Yeah. That was, yeah, but he's yeah, been around forever. He name. just never got any good yeah, parts. If it wasn't Malik Yoba at the time, you couldn't get oh, a cop one. part. <laughs> if it wasn't, um, what's the other guy? I can't even think the other guy who's on this show, the rookie right now. I can't think of his name. But know. if you saw him, you know him. Yeah, I swear, there's only like seven black actors that that you <laughs> they, know they that they are always yeah. in things. Yeah. Malik Yoba is one of them. Malik is always in something. He is. Yeah, he just got, he was just in. Is. Um, is he is he the guy that was in? Um, Why did I get married? He, is it? Yeah, yes, yeah, he yeah. Played Gavin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, but Malik okay. Yoba, if you think really you about see his face, you, you see New York everywhere. undercover now. That's yeah. <laughs> that's he how everybody know. knows Malik Yoba oh, okay. though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, it was. I mean, so I think that, like I said, the actors should have been paid more. Absolutely, mm-hmm. but I don't think that we can say that it would have been a bigger show. I just think it was better. It, to you, it to was. You, it was. I like both shows. Can, yeah. I, I could right now, if I were to sit, go to downstairs and sit down and turn on one of them, I would probably turn on Living Single for a couple episodes. But then I go, but go to Friends for a few episodes, just because some of the comedy in there was hilarious. Mm, Chandler, yeah. the guy who played Chandler, had these one-liners that was just. Oh my be, gosh! I have you on the floor. Yes. Like crippling, like yeah. And so, and I have friends like them. So, so I didn't have as many friends like Living, Living Single. Single. I never, cause I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't in that time frame. I guess I didn't have friends like that, mm-hmm. but I do have friends like the ones in Friends. Whereas one of them, I have friends who are trying to be actors. I got mm-hmm. friends who, 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 who loved what they do, and they, they're, they're, carp, they're carpenters, they're electricians. They love what they yeah. do. I mean, that was from Living, Living single. single. But I mean, I have both sides. But I have more friends like friends trying mm-hmm. to work in the corporate world, living in New York City or a big city, things like that. That I've always been closer to. Hmm. It really depends. Yeah, it depends on who you are, what you what you associate with, and what you yeah, and how you, what what kind of perspective it brings. Because I mean, we could look at this, watch the same thing, and we could all take different right. pieces yeah. from it. Mm-hmm. True. So I don't. I, don't, I, don't I think I think it, I think it's good though. I think it's I think that's what TV is for. But I don't think that we should ever drop television that means something because it's not getting the ratings that we think it should get or that a company thinks it should get because it does mean something and it is making them money. Hopefully, if it's not making the money, I understand dropping. It's 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 sad because it's like when you know our well, my kids get older. What's going to be those classic TV shows? Yeah, Sesame Street. Sesame Street is a classic for me. My kids don't watch Sesame Street. Really? I never watched Sesame Street. Really? Mm-mm. Sesame Street is a is a vintage. Yeah. For us, 
That's, so Sesame that's Street, nitty. Fraggle Rock was old to me, felt like. What is that? See, so you don't remember what Fraggle Rock <laughs> is. See, that's the thing. Like, no, I didn't watch Fraggle I think Rock. When I, was a, when I think the only TV show or cartoon I really watched was Barney. When I, was I didn't even watch home. that. Did My little sister make, watched that. that. So that for anymore? me, do they even do that anymore? I don't even know. I don't know. See, I had Gullah Gullah Island. <laughs> Gullah Gullah Island. Yeah, yeah. Gullah Gullah Island was but dope. see, yeah, that's why I didn't go. Do you know the girl song. from that show is um she plays in the MacGyver show, Tristan Mays. Oh, that's her. Yeah, she played Shayna in Gullah Gullah Island. I don't see. I don't. She was too young then. Like, I, yeah, she, <laughs> but I know who Tristan yeah. Mays is because I like MacGyver. Yeah, she was in Gullah Gullah Island. Okay, Gullah Gullah Island was dope. Um, even like the the shows will be like. Hey Arnold. Yeah. yeah. Rugrats. Well, I didn't see Hey Arnold was after it was after me. Yeah. Hey uh, Arnold was more my thing. Yeah, because yeah. Rugrats was I was with the original cat time of Rugrats. Right. Then you saw when it was the not yeah. you, but maybe you saw when the remake came back when they stopped it yeah. and came back. Oh, and the all back. grown yeah. up cast. No, 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 no. no, no, no. They, had, they just they there was a big break in it, so yeah. when it stopped for a while, then they brought it back. When did they bring it back? Uh, when you were younger. I mean, because they stopped after when I was a kid. That Doug stopped. Then they brought Doug, Doug back. back. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of these shows, they stopped breaks. for a while, like like five, six years. Oh, yeah. Then they brought them all back. I remember Doug. They had a totally Doug. different... Doug was my Doug show. even looked different when they yeah, brought Doug back. Because mm-hmm. uh, who was it? It was the guy with the uh, with the hair. Yeah. His hair was different. I'm like, wait, that's not the same guy. Same Doug? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, they changed it. Now I need to go back and look. They're yeah. trying to... Uh, they rebooted the Powerpuff Girls. I don't know anything about Powerful. Girls. Really, you don't watch so it. So I, I watch Cartoon Network, but I only watch like the Jetsons mm-hmm. and the Jetsons Flintstones. Are so old, yeah. the <laughs> so old. I see, see I hated I hated Cartoon so, Network because the only time I only watched Cartoon Network was late at night. Yeah, then, it was, they, it, then it was yeah. Space yeah. Ghost Coast Space to Coast. Space Ghost Coast to Coast. I, I feel like it was this. really old. Yeah. And they would like play Super Friends. I just feel yeah. like the shows on the Cartoon Network were really old. But they did a good job of like rebranding themselves. So yeah. They came out with Dexter's Laboratory and. Johnny Cow and Bravo Chicken and Johnny Bravo crazy. and Johnny Bravo was such a tool. Yeah, I hated Johnny Bravo. <laughs> I remember Dexter's <laughs> Laboratory. I remember watching that. Dexter's Lab is actually extremely boring. It's really not. It's not. I think Dexter's Laboratory is like one of like with my Jetsons and the Flintstones. Mm-hmm. The only show that I liked. See, I hated the Flintstones. I, I, I love the Jetsons. The Jetsons. I like the, the Jetsons. The Flintstones. Was in. I, yeah. I liked the Flintstones. I like Flintstones. I like the Flintstones kids because they were yeah. little and then they were cute. I don't know. Scooby Doo was a little bit too old for me too. No, I like Scooby Doo. See, I, like, I wasn't I was a Scooby Doo fan. I was trying to figure out who was the person. Me and Scooby was in there like <laughs> Scooby Doo <laughs> for me. <laughs> even to this day, Scooby Doo for me is like. I got nothing to do, but I don't want to get up and change the channel. So I'm gonna keep watching Scooby Doo, like and that and it gets on my nerve. Like it, that's how it doesn't annoy me, but I can watch it. But what I did hate about Scooby Doo was Scrappy Doo. Scrappy. I couldn't stand Scrappy. Why? Yeah, Scrappy. It was just annoying. annoying. He was really annoying. He was just an <laughs> annoying little little puppy. <laughs> Well, puppies are annoying. Yes, they are. I just want, I wonder what the kids are gonna sit back and like talk and 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 say. Oh, this is like my favorite show. Well, they'll have theirs. I mean, it's not it's not for us to try yeah. to put that out there. For I don't them. always be thinking about yeah. those kind of things. But like Elijah doesn't watch any cartoons. Yeah, but how he old watches, is Elijah now? He watches what? He watches YouTube. Well, he I mean he watches YouTube, but he also likes like a football life. Like he likes uh, documentaries. That's mm-hmm. his thing. That wasn't what I was doing at 11. Yeah. I, I don't know what I was doing. I think doing 11 now. years old is still kind of young because, I mean, like, some like his cousin, he's 12, I'll be 13. He still plays with action figures. I played with I played with dolls until I was, like, 13, 14. I think when I hit her, entered high school, I think I stopped playing with dolls. Wow. I know mm. that, that may sound like... But, like, I think about me at that age, and I was very innocent. Like I, I was outside. I still looked like... Yeah, I, I, I played playing, outside, so. but I still looked like a little kid. It was I was like a little yeah. kid too. Yeah. I was like, See, I us at eleven, we on a bike and we were gone. Yeah, that's was, all like, we ever did yeah. because that's what I, like we were from our house. Then I go pick up my cousin Rose. Me and Rose just be riding. Then I come back. She gotta go home and eat. Yeah. I go eat. Then I go pick up my other friends, Marlon and Antonio. We start riding a different direction. <laughs> nah, that's how that's how it is back home. Cause like yeah. when Elijah's home, that's, that's what they do. They'll they'll get together and the cousins and everybody will get together and do something. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have yeah. Saturday morning cartoons yeah. because that was that was cleanup time. Yeah, yeah. I'm true. talking about some music came yeah. on. Yeah, it could be man. earth, wind, and fire. It That's could be, it. You know or it could time. be gospel. Yeah. It could be anything. But then you start cleaning. cleaning and yeah. we clean from the time we woke up until about noon. Mm. Cartoon's over. Yeah. 
So at this point in time, nothing's on TV Got except for time. QVC. That's about the only thing on TV. So you at go the outside time. and play. You go outside and play, but I'm from Texas. If it got too hot to go outside and play, it's like then your parents are sending to somebody else's house to go play. Yeah, because now you're not gonna you're not gonna tear the house. Yeah, right, you know, right. Get yourself and go find. And some if you didn't go. go somewhere, then you would just stay home. You might play a video game. You might chill. Or chill just, yeah. just stay away from you out of your mama's yeah. eyesight because then she gonna find something else for you to do. Yeah, true. Right. And that's what we did. And so I mean. So cartoons, I didn't really have cartoons because of stuff. I was always out. I was always gone yeah. at my grandmother's house. So I'm talking about I grew up like I had after school shows. I think oh, so. Yeah. The cartoon I watched after school was Batman Beyond. Uh, Batman Beyond. Oh, I liked Batman Beyond. I had X Men after school. No, X Men was Saturday morning before we started cleaning. We got up super early to watch <laughs> X Men. That's the only one my little sister and I watched. Because we would get up at like 7 or a.m. to watch X-Men. The mama's alarm would go off at 8. That's funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> Time to get up. Yep, they had to start cleaning. I used to get home. Um, I remember going, going home and watching um, General Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, mine was mine was um all, all my children because oh, yeah. my mom used to watch it. So all my there children. There's another one that I forgot. It starts with an S. My friends used to watch it. A S. A S. It was it wasn't on ABC. It was on. Um, I don't remember one dang. with an S. Those soap operas used to. Have I remember like there were some crazy ones that started. Remember like Pleasures. Yeah. That was what they had the little. They had the little. Yes. little I don't, what do they call? What, what's the politically correct term? Um. Is it? Small, small person, small people. Yeah, small person. I've never heard it's, of this. Yeah, it was weird. It was. It was. It was a soap opera that came out. Some soap operas, boy, and you're like, because I'm. I, I was. I don't know how I was scrolling, but I was watching. I, I stumbled upon General Hospital, and I've been out of high school for 12 years. So this is like mm-hmm. 13, 14 years. How you look the same? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, how does Sunny look the same? This is crazy. All my, ch- I remember Kendall. Kendall yes. was like the most evil person, and then you had the twins that came out, and one killed on. the other. Yo, I remember this. My mom used to make us watch this while we clean. Like, while she, while she either did my little sister's hair, yeah, yeah. or after school we didn't have nothing. She was just sitting there before my mom started working. We just sitting there watching this all day long, man. Yeah, yeah no. Had, I had a back to back, you know, from like some. Two to like five, and then yeah. the, the news comes on. She never did. Um, he never did any. Uh, no, so soap like operas. when I was um when I lived in California, I went to a, a year round school. Mm-hmm. So we would go to school for X amount of weeks, months, or whatever, and then we would be off track. Yeah. So we would have a break, and so our mom would our mom would work, and so me and my brother would be at home, and so we would watch <laughs> we would watch Maury. <laughs> <laughs> we <We'll>, very spring. <laughs> and that, that was the summer. That was the summer line. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have cables. So, that was a ratchet TV. Yeah, this is this was before we had cable, so we would watch Maury. Um, but as soon as Jerry Springer came on, we had to start cleaning up because Mama got home from work at five. That's how <laughs> I remember the summers. Five p.m. Yeah. No, we would watch in the morning. We would watch Maury. Um, Ricky Lake. Ricky, no, Ricky didn't come on Sarah in the morning. Just, Sarah, no, uh, Sarah Raphael. Sarah Raphael. Yeah, we would watch her, and then. Um, Who else? Was I wouldn't watch there? the court. Montel, um, Montel, yeah. Williams, I wouldn't watch the court shows. I would watch. Um, I like Judge Judy. I watched Between the Lions on PBS. I have no idea what that is. It was PBS like, Kids. Yeah, it was a. It's a, a show that comes on. It like it's about reading. Um, and then I will watch PBS. Whatever would come on on PBS, and then so I never watched PBS. Except for Reading Rainbow. Yeah, I was say, Reading Rainbow. Oh, yeah, I will, I will Mr. watch Reading What's Rainbow. What's his name? Mr. Rogers. I never watched Mr. that. Rogers. Yeah, I will watch Reading Rainbow. I wonder, I wonder, Mr. Like, I didn't watch, like, these boring shows. Like, even with, like, um, what's that show we were just talking about? All My Children, it wasn't boring. boring yeah. Like, Mr. Rogers was boring. Mr. Rogers he was so can, get, he can get boring after a while. Yeah. I, would, I would watch one or two episodes. That's why I didn't like Sesame Street, Street was boring. Oh, yeah, I would uh, watch Sesame Street. Fraggle too. Rock was boring. I had the Muppet Babies. I didn't like the Muppets. I, like I didn't that. like the grown ones. Gave me the Muppet Babies. I like the Muppet Babies. Uh, the Looney, what was the Looney Tune Kids? The yeah, Tiny Tunes. Tiny Tunes. Animaniacs. Animaniacs. Those were the shows. Yo, the like, Animaniacs, were, they were so lit. Were Animaniacs. They're, they're, on, I, thing, they're on Netflix. The Animaniacs. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna go back and watch. Oh, okay. Them now. Yeah, I'm not watching. I used to watch Zoom after school. Was, I wanted to be Zoom? on that shoot, that show so bad. It's like an educational variety show for kids. So they would have a cast oh, of man. like. <laughs> right. Well, I wasn't watching that. So they had like. A, <laughs> I had the Mickey Mouse Club. Oh yeah, no. We, there was like a cast of like maybe ten kids. And they would um, do like science experiments, or they would make some food, or tell a joke, or, or something. It was just really cool. I mm-hmm. wanted to be. A, and then you could write a letter, like so. Like if you had, like if let's say if you learned how to make slime, you could write the directions out and send it to Zoom, and they'll do it on the show, and then oh, okay. they'll give you credit for it. 
Petra from New York sent us this letter, and then you know, then they'll do it. That's so, like I, I would be was, not be watching that show. I loved it. I wanted to be on that show what so was bad. Really? Similar to that, it was like um, it was um, it was my Nick. They had the slime show. Oh, that's not the same that's thing. Not, so it was a sim- I'm saying they figure had kids it out. On there. Figure it out. Figure it out. That's, that was my show. They have things where they mm-hmm. have kids that they bring kids on. <laughs> oh, you they know, know what else I hated on Saturdays? Just remind me when you said when you said the Nickelodeon. It was um, where they had the three teams. They were competing against each other. Double there. No. no, it was three teams. It was a red team, a purple team. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Legends of the Hidden Temple. No, not Legends of the Hidden Temple. I remember that too. But this was a show. It was only on Saturdays. It was like it was like an outdoor competition show. Wild and Crazy Kids. Was it wild? I think it was. Well, Omar crazy. Omar Gooding was on there. And yeah, 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 yeah. I hated that I loved show. that show. I hated that. They were show. like they were at Universal Studios. And they would have like their little t shirts on and yeah. they would have to run around and do all these crazy things. It was I good. Hated I loved it. it. I wanted to be, why'd you hate that? It was so trash. <laughs> you was trash. It was so trash. <laughs> I used to love so when we finally did get cable, mom got the good cable. And we had a Nickelodeon had this channel called Nickelodeon Games and Sports, and mm-hmm. it was a channel d- dedicated only to their game shows. Yeah. And so like Double Dare would be on there, yeah. figure it out. Um Wild or Crazy Kids was not. But like Guts. Do you remember I remember Guts, Guts? Guts. Yeah, I remember Guts. And hit Legends of the Hidden Temple. That show, I remember Legends of the Hidden Temple. That show was so dope. I could never understand how they could never put the monkey together. <laughs> it was literally only three pieces. The silver monkey. That's they had to put it together, and they could never do it. <gasps> that can't. Do you? Did you watch that? I didn't. I never really got into. Oh, it. that show I was, was so I've good. Never been, I, I hadn't been into TV since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And my parents were not big on TV, oh, okay. so I wasn't well, like a good thing. able to. Have, my mom gave us like a half an hour. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> a day on TV. See, we had TV whenever we could, but then my mom got a job at the cable company, so then we had everything. everything yeah. Oh, so so yeah. I don't recall my mom ever being a soap opera person. Um, I remember one time she was watching this show called Murder One. I have no idea what that Murder is. Murder One. Murder One. I don't know if I'm sure it doesn't come on anymore. But she was watching that. She like she liked true crime shows. So oh. she would be watching that right so she now. Would watch First 48. Yeah. National That's National my older National. sister. That's what she, she would watch. My mom would watch Mad... <laughs> she will watch Madlock. Oh, yeah. Um, no. I'm sure if Murder, She Wrote was still coming on, she was watching that, too. <laughs> she oh God, she loved stuff like that. But my mom was, like, a real big, like... She loved to read. Mm-hmm. She loved like typing and reading, and she loved stuff like that. I think that's kind of where I probably get that from. Right. And that's probably why I'm obsessed with Law and Order SVU. And she used to watch. I do not Law. watch that she used show. To watch, she used to watch. I do not like yeah. that show. I like. I don't like. I don't like Criminal Intent, but I love SVU. Criminal Intent I, was awful. Ooh. Criminal Intent was awful. I don't like. Okay, I love the original. Law and Order. That one's cool, but I like SVU. And the reason I like that one because it was all crimes. I don't like SVU because I don't want to see somebody get raped right. every yeah. episode. I don't want to yeah. see child molestation every yeah. episode. And that's and it's so dark. And but it, they, then they have these light spots in because we 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 catch molesters, <laughs> but we have a life too. I don't care about your life. That's what I'm saying. Like when when it was when it was regular Law and Order and. They catch a criminal because he was killing like 10 people. You can go out and have a beer after that. Nobody wants to go out and have a beer after you catch somebody who raped 25 people. Yeah, true. I think, yeah, I think uh, morally they had a hard time with, yeah. with that. Like, but for some reason people love it and they're still on. It's, it's the only it's the Law and Order it's still going. It's like 17 seasons. Yeah, it's, it's still not long, long as the original Law and Order yet. But the original Law and Order, where, the, some of the guys, that original cast have passed. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think yeah. the original Law and Order one for what thirty or something so, years. Some of time. them have bled, and some of them were like a featured in a couple of yeah, the newer seasons. Ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, in some of the newer seasons. But my mom used to watch the original Law and Order. Mm-hmm. She will watch. Um, it doesn't come on anymore. Uh, Life on the Streets. Never uh, heard of it. Well, no, it's not. What is it? Called? Uh, mm, I can. He- the actor. Uh, he plays. He's dark skinned. I can see his face. He plays in Brooklyn Nine Nine right now. He plays Captain Holt. I like him. I can't think of what else he was in. He played in. It was a true crime show. Mm-hmm. Well, not true crime, but it was like a crime show. Um, was it? Crap. I have I'm no sorry. idea. But I but, like him. I, he's hilarious. In Brooklyn he's Nine-Nine. hilarious as as Captain Holt. Yes. Um, not that, I like that show. That's it's, actually a good show. I for love me. that show. Um, she used to watch that one. Um. Murder One, um, Law and Order, 
crime. No, NYPD, NYPD Blue. NYPD Blue. Oh, NYPD Blue. Yeah. yeah. She used to watch I never that. watched it, though. She used to watch That's that. That's a good one. I it's never like, watched that it. That was really intense. She used to watch that one. You I'm, know what they are now? Like, now it's like ID. There's mm. a whole ID channel. Oh, and from, and oh yeah? From, yeah? Oh, my God. I don't mom, watch And it. my mom is crazy about it. Like, she, like she'll like literally be up watching. Like, and I'm thinking in my head, like, oh, she could probably get away with something. Hey, you want to know what my mom's shows, show was? My mom's show that? was NCIS. Oh, see? My, my mom that's, that's loved my until that's the spinoffs. Uh, no, until un, the spinoffs. No, not even the spinoffs. She didn't care about those. She didn't watch them, but she didn't care. But she loved NCIS until Ziva was no longer on the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, then yeah. it was over. No, then it was over. She yeah. was watching another episode. episode. No, no. NCIS was a good one. She loved that show. My grandma watched NCIS. She oh, didn't like, watch the spinoffs, so she just liked the original one mm-hmm. uh, with Ziva, Ziva and yeah. Abby. Yeah. Oh, and then Abby left the show, too. She did? The, um, the newest the, one? But after... After season, yeah, yeah, she might left. have be real recent then, because uh, she was on this season last season. Uh, yeah, I think I that might be her last season. Oh, okay, I yeah. think that's everybody. I think this show is pretty much over. Grandma, it's on seventeen years, I think now. My grandma used to watch. Um, it's probably eleven years. I'm probably used to exaggerating, Bones. but she watched. Do you remember Judging Amy? Oh yeah. my god, grandma, my grandma used to watch that. I have Judging no idea what it she was. She watched La Femme Nikita, like the original. The original. I Not remember yet. seeing a few episodes. She, grandma, it was on USA. I remember okay. that. The USA was it. Yo, I remember Nikita, Nikita though. Nikita was fire, like to me. Like, I saw Life on the Street. That's the name of the show. Oh, I remember that now. Yes. I didn't, like, I didn't watch it. See, that stuff that. I didn't watch. I don't think he might, my sister would watch it. My older sister would watch it, but. Yeah, you weren't in. No, I wasn't. Yeah, no, it's a little, it's a little bit old, but. Anyway, so Those yeah, shows, um, you, it's crazy. You sit and think about like the things that we've watched and we've been listening and been exposed to, and how different like they have literally so <laughs> many different things. I'm, I just I get amazed with the fact like you have SVU, you have this, we have all these different TV shows, and now I'm just like you get overwhelmed by that. Right. I literally be like, oh my god, it's just so you know what's much. so crazy. It's some you actually brought something up earlier today about that about is the things that we experienced oh, as a child. a child. Yeah. Uh, reflect now in our lives in our in our personal like relationships and our in our romantic relationships. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. This is so and her and I have had this conversation a few times. Like our childhood plays such a huge part in just like things that we were exposed to. Mm-hmm. Just you know, just simply exposed to certain things or seeing certain things, seeing certain relationships and not even friendships. Mm-hmm. How and I I never re- I didn't realize this and I think I was talking to you about it. I'm not sure if it was you, but my mom never really had friends in the house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I never understood why I was so funky about letting people in my house. Because your mom was like that. And I was like, wow, that's why. My mom was really super, super, super protective of her space. I've never seen her growing up. I never saw her with a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. My parents were split up since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So I've never seen her with a man. And I know she had somebody. (laughs) I know she must have did something, you know what I'm saying, like... Low key nighttime, like yeah. as an adult, I know she must. She must. Yeah, but she didn't right. bring that to but the house. She ne- yeah, never came to the house, and she never had any friends. And the friends that I know that she's had, she's had for years, mm-hmm. like forever. No new friends. No new friends. Yeah. Yeah. Like from when she was some 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 of the friends that she's had since she was in high school. And yeah. my mom, you know, like my mom had us. I, I don't have Crazy. any of those. I don't have any friends from really? high school. Really? Yeah, I don't because I've moved. I've left. Oh. I left home and I've moved so much. So but you, and actually, my 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 wife said the same thing. She doesn't have any friends from high school either. Wow. But like we, because we we once we joined the military and we left home, like I left. You like, like started over. Yeah. I, I was. My, I start over everywhere I am. Yeah. That's who I am. I don't really. It, that doesn't define me. Everything I I live, Sherman, Texas, doesn't define me. Right. Uh, L.A., New York, yeah. none of those, Georgia. None no places to when find you leave, me. You kind of just reinvent I just, yourself. Yeah, yourself I, I didn't reinvent myself. I just pick up and go. go. It's, yeah. just, it's just a new place. And I don't I don't have any friends. Like, I know people who got friends. Like, we were together in kindergarten. Like, I've known you since kindergarten. Oh, yeah, and we've always been. Like no, I don't have any. I don't have anybody I even, in from high school that I even speak to from my high school. I have one guy, uh, Randon Swinger. Him and I are friends. But he went to our rival school. Mm. And he's a year younger than me. And we end up getting cool later in life life mm. i think it's really cool to have a lifelong friends like that like i said one friend i've had since kindergarten that's my brother so i don't mm. know if he counts but <laughs> i think they do count because sometimes i'm like you are not my friend <laughs> oh yeah my you little sister they, you ain't always my friend <laughs> but like um I me- i've mentioned her before my my best friend i've had since high school she and i have been we've been we've known each other since we were 12 we've been best friends since we were 14 mm-hmm. and it's really cool having a, a lifelong friend like that because you can watch each other grow like right. i've watched her grow 
she's a school teacher now mm-hmm. and like when we were getting in trouble in high school there's no way in a million years you could have ever convinced <laughs> me, me that she, that she was going to be teaching somebody's <laughs> right. child like you could have and the same for her there's no way she could have ever predicted that I would be <laughs> yeah yeah. Now, me I'm, can't no teacher tell me nothing and I'm in the military. Like yeah. she <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? So it's just it's just really cool to watch your friends grow and mature and she's getting married this summer and I can't wait. Now I, I know wait. I've made a lot of mistakes. And I know that's some of the reasons why I don't have any friends from like high school that I've broken off with. I've things I've done, things right. they've done. We just and I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie to say I haven't. We all have. But I don't have that. I don't I, but that's the thing about my wife now. We said that when wherever we move after the military, seven years from now, wherever we are, we're not moving again. Yeah. yeah. We're going to grow up there. Our kids are going to grow yeah, up there. Yeah. We're going to retire there. We're going to be there for the rest of our lives. Yeah. And that, because we want that. We want to be able to have friends come over all the time that we know. And because yeah. we met you and you within the last year. year. Yeah. And then we're leaving next year. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, it's true. Because we're leaving next year also. Yeah. Okay, we, I, we're probably not going to go in the same place. But I, 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 and I, I feel like for me, my best friend, me and her have been friends since I was 12. Mm-hmm. And, and, and similar to what Dita just said, it was so amazing to see the evolutions of our lives. And like, especially with us two, because I'm usually in one place in my life and she's usually at the total opposite. So like when she was married, I was single, kind of doing my thing. Now I'm married. Now she's divorced and she's trying to figure herself out. Um, and we've also had a lot. So our friendship is, it's a difficult friendship because a lot of it is comes down, comes mm-hmm. down to our roots are intertwined. So like, because we have so much time invested, right. because we're, we, we, we've seen so much of each other, it's like, it's easier to keep her than to lose her type of thing. Uh, so, but but we, would y'all be enemies if y'all lost each other? That's, that's the, the thing. So we have had times where we haven't spoke well, yeah. for, for like, Years. I think yeah. my mic was loud. I gotta check it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been years where we, we, we have had to take breaks. Mm-hmm. And I think that those times, it was been so it, those have been very pivotal moments in our relationship because I feel like if we didn't take those breaks, we probably still wouldn't be friends. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? And now it's like, you know, um, and I hate to say it like, like this, but she's very judgy. And she will say she's not. Okay. So when she hears it, she's going to be so mad at me okay. that I said that. Okay. But she has spent a lot of time like, oh, Patriot, you're impulsive. Oh, Patriot, you've done this. And Patriot, you've done that. And you know Geminis. Mm. Well, we all know Geminis. Yeah. The three of us, yeah. when we doing something, we're just we're doing, doing it. it. Right. And that's it, you yeah. know? And you talk, think about it later. Especially as being as a young parent, sometimes I've had to just do it, do do it, it. and yeah. think about the consequences later because I had to think on the go. <laughs> and I think, and I, I always remembered in my head, like, she had both her parents growing up. Mm-hmm. She had, you know, a lot. Our, our growing up was very, even though we're in the same area, it was very different. Right. And I knew that a part of me in, in my heart knew that she didn't have the experience that she needed to make the the assumptions or the judgments that she made. And I said, you know what? I know as time goes on, she'll learn. Because I've never doubted her commitment to... She, I know she's rocking with me. Yeah. You know, if I wasn't talking to her, if I called her and I was in a jam, Alicia, I need 300 3000 whatever dollars, yeah. she's going to give it to me. Yeah. You know, If I told her I was in a situation, even if we weren't talking, she'd open her door say get in here yeah. and sit down and we wouldn't even talk to each other I know that for a fact but I knew that you're gonna learn on your own time and uh, knowing that and having the 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 the, the um, understanding to know that some people have to kind of just learn and grow on their own she'll understand on her own and when she does I know we'll be closer yeah. now we're, we're I think we're closer now than we've ever oh, ever yeah. ever ever been and it's good to have a person that TMI, but we tried to lose our virginity together. That's how close we were. Yikes. Like we try to do everything together, <laughs> yeah. you know. And that's and, and when you and you think about it, like people are like, damn, you you know you've really grown. Nobody really understands that besides her. Yeah. Like she knows like how ratchet I was. Right. She knows that how right. I'm, I'm fighting. I'm doing this. I'm doing right. that. Yeah. Getting arrested. She knows my growth more than anybody right. else. So when we say that, you know, when you say that, you mm-hmm. like. She knows. Right. It's funny. Nobody, I don't have anybody like that, but I do have people at certain times in my life knew who I was at that, that moment. That moment, yeah. Because I was a totally different person in L.A., like, with things <laughs> I was doing, of compared course. to things I was doing in New York, <laughs> right. compared to the things I was doing in Maryland and Georgia and Korea. Yeah. And, I mean, it was, I've always, I mean, I've never been a different person, but... 
Season. The partying you're I was doing in LA, yes. the money I was spending in New York, yeah. I was, that's the different. It was yeah. different. So, but I had friends. My wife says that like I create a really good friend everywhere I am, yeah. and everywhere I, I go, yeah. and uh, and I, everywhere I've been, I've created a really good friend, a really small group of friends, and I, I we don't even keep in touch that well, but we keep in touch, and I think that. I want to do better with keeping in touch with those people. Yeah. I don't want to just leave and walk away because I'm seeing now, like, by the time I'm 45, 50 years old, I want to be able to say, these are my friends. I've known them for X amount of years, and we can just come together. We can fly somewhere. We can go somewhere. Yeah. Like, y'all, I don't want to ever lose y'all because you Aww. guys are the people that, y'all so here? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> y'all he being of, sweet? I'm, hey, I'm a sweet person. <laughs> like, with, with, with you guys and and and, and the, the two from my other podcast, right. and there's, are, there's a small group of people here that have kept me sane, have, yeah. have right. allowed me to be able to grow and be able to do different yeah. things, and I don't want to lose you guys because that's something I think that we need, need right it, now. Right. Right. Especially in, in, the, in this world, and you know, it's crazy because we don't, we say that we want to keep in touch. And I know for myself, like this Gemini ness in me is crazy. I'm very free spirit, mm-hmm. right? So sometimes I lose track of the fact that, and it's not because I forgot how important you are, but because I'm, I'm my mind's always going. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm trying to get my keep my life together mm-hmm. and keep going and keep going. That I forget like just to say, I love you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I'm thinking about you. I'm appreciative of you. I I miss you. And those and, and it's because I'm literally going at a yeah. hundred miles an hour all the time. So I and I and I keep telling myself I gotta do better with that. So I'm definitely on mm-hmm. the same wavelength as you because we are gonna leave again. Yeah. You know, and this is our first time having to get situated somewhat and I think mm-hmm. part of me has not gotten too comfortable because I know I have to get up and leave again right um, and it's, it's hard for my for me for my for Elijah because when he he said it, he was like I'm gonna be leaving next month yeah. next year and I'm gonna have to leave all my friends again and when he was home with his homeboys that he was with since kindergarten it was a different kind of laugh it yeah. was a different yeah. kind of joking yeah. it was a different kind of like Oh, these are my boys. Like mm-hmm. I played football with you guys since I was six. Yeah. So to be able to allow him to continue to go back and see them, I pray that he has those lifelong friends, right. even though he is a military child. You yeah. know. I actually I was listening to the Brilliant Idiots with uh, Andrew Schultz and Charlemagne the God, yeah. mm-hmm. and their last episode they were talking about how <coughs> just after uh, Nipsey Hussle passed, after he was killed, that. Um, he just reached out to their friends and told them they loved them. Yeah. I did the same thing. Yeah. Of course. So I reached out to a few of my friends. Like, hey, bro, I just want to let you know I love you. Like, you've been there for me, and I really appreciate you. And um, I think that's important for us to do. And I hate that it comes down to us having to... It, it has to come through some kind of a trauma. Yeah. And I was... You guys know. I was like, listen, guys, I'm so emotional right now. I had such a hard time with, with the news with Nip, about Nipsey. And I wasn't a fan of his music. I just want to put that out there. I was never like, oh, I'm a Nipsey fan. I love mm-hmm. his music. No. I loved who he was as a person. Yeah. What he brought to the table, the way that he showed love to his girls. To see a... He's a hood guy. Like, hood, hood, hood. Mm-hmm. But able to have an intellectual conversation. Able to bring positivity and motivate those around him. And he put his his girl on such a pedestal even when they broke up people don't forget that him and Lauren London broke up for a few months or whatever and his respect for her was unwavering mm-hmm. you know and I heard the news it was like 2 o'clock in the morning I was getting up to use the bathroom <laughs> and my husband's not home I started crying mm-hmm. I just literally broke down like I can't believe that sometimes we think like, oh, did I tell my husband I loved him today? And did I say it to him in a manner that's not like, oh, you know, I love you, I love you too. But really saying like, I appreciate you. I don't know what my life would be Mm -hmm. like without you. Because at the end of the day, I prayed so hard for the life that I had that sometimes we don't realize that when you have it, you're not entitled to this shit. Yeah. It, you, what because you pray for it and I know you have to the, the same thing you pray for you gotta continue working towards and I was literally shaking I, I don't think I've I've been really good with allowing my emotional space and kind of protecting that that broke me down for at least a week and I think it was harder for me because my husband wasn't home yeah. um, and I just was like I have to I have to do better at this Theta, what was your familiarity with Nipsey Hussle um, 
like Petra said, I wasn't really, um, I wasn't familiar with this music. I'm not gonna say I wasn't a fan because I was, like I said, I wasn't familiar. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I should say that I'm not. I wasn't a fan. I wasn't familiar with it. I didn't. I'm not really a big rap person. So you're, right. You're, you're worried the about only the only song I knew by Nipsey and knew it was Nipsey was the one he did with YG last time I checked. Right. But then um, after he passed, I did listen to um, some like there's like a playlist on Spotify. I was listening to it, and there were some songs that I actually had heard before. But my fil- familiarization with Nipsey was his soul Mm -hmm. and what he was doing for his community, what he was trying to do for um, Crenshaw, what he was doing for the culture, for the black community. And I've seen, I've seen some of his interviews and I've heard, I heard him speak and he's, he's been consistent Mm -hmm. in every, in in, on all of his interviews and all of his beliefs. Like he wasn't just talking about it. He was actually doing it. Mm -hmm. And um, one of my good friends is actually a huge Nipsey Hussle fan. um, And he has like his, like the marathon clothing and, mm-hmm. and the the Crenshaw clothing and not only that but I used to live out in I didn't live in Crenshaw but I lived in Southern California so I'm familiar with the area and yeah. I know the area and so to hear what he was doing I remember reading an article where um Nipsey was talking about there was like a restaurant or like a burger joint or something that he and him and his friends used to hang out at mm-hmm. and the owner didn't want people loitering mm-hmm. so he took the seats <laughs> excuse me he took all the seats and the tables and everything out of the restaurant so the people would get their food and then leave. Mm-hmm. And Nipsey said that, you know, years later, like recently, he bought the building. And he was like, so now that like, owes me rent. <laughs> and I, I thought that was not. Nah, I, I thought that was you cool. can't. I mean, stay. <coughs> you know, mm-hmm. getting people, everybody that. And I, I was listening to his brother, um, his brother's interview. And he was saying, like, the person who killed him knew that in the place that he was at, nobody could have guns because all the people that he worked with him were parolees. Mm, so he, he had no defense. Nobody had a gun there because yeah. they're not allowed to carry guns. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. No. That's what, that's what, this is what he said. They, he, some of them weren't allowed to carry guns, but he was in the whole plaza. He was outside. It doesn't like anybody right, but else He, he, he was just saying like the people that could that, that were there that could have possibly helped or that with that were like immediately in the in the vicinity or in the store. Anybody that he employed mm-hmm. was normally on papers or had some pro. Yeah, but here's the thing: it wouldn't have mattered because he just, we saw we saw what we saw. I and he not, walked I refused to watch. Well, that. He, well, I literally I saw it. Well, it was quick. Let me just say yeah. it was quick. And so that if somebody else had a gun or anything, the reaction it wouldn't have mattered. time is. The thing is, yeah. my question is: when is it that you are too close to the community once you make it? See, that, and that's the thing. So Charlemagne had said something. Was it mm, Charlemagne? I think it was. Whereas you fix it, but you get out. Mm. Right. And and, and it's, you know, hard, it's hard. It depends on where you are. It depends on who you are. It depends on what you're doing. It's because a slippery, it's a slippery such slope. A strong, it's a slippery slope. It's, it's a slippery hate slope. Hate is such a strong, strong, strong emotion. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, is that the things that drive hate, if... Imagine if the state, if those, if, if you were, if it was driven with love, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you can't, sometimes you can't help the fact that you're doing so well, but somebody is bad minding you. Somebody yeah. just there just hoping that you slip. But and he had no, no security. Well, and that, the thing is, so what I've read was he usually is Has, supposed to have security yeah. with him because he heard there was something going, there was already some beef going on and somebody had gotten released and he went there to just get him some clothes. Even so, he's also he's also in his own plaza around his own gang members, so he around his own people. So the in same with people that, that he's the, the same people that he's helping. This, the, the, I mean, like that. That's the same people that he's he's literally putting food in your mouths, and this happens. I don't, I don't, I don't. What that got to do with anything? Because it'd be like the military, if somebody was coming after one of your officers, you're not, and you're off duty, you ain't got nothing to do, you don't even know it's not, you, I mean, let's not, let's not use that since military, but let's say a job that you had before. Right. And you're somebody coming after your boss. They're putting food in your mouth. Are you going to jump in front of a bullet for them? No, I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I'm expecting them to have jumped in front of the bullet. I'm just saying that it's crazy because the same people, because it comes down to this is the community he's trying to help and somebody from the same community that he's trying to help is the one who killed him. I mean, it's always going to be that way. I mean, it's... And, and you, I mean, the thing is, is that, so I've, I've read also conflicting stories. One person said that he respectfully asked the boy to leave because he's a known snitch and another person had told me that he had just dapped him up. 
don't know. Either way, now, it, either it, way, it, it doesn't. I mean, at that point, the person from a community is still is still look at the community still. Yeah. Even though he's doing some good things in the community, People it's still it's still Slauson yeah, and Crenshaw. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's still the same place. <laughs> It sucks Somebody got shot there probably three weeks before. Yeah, yeah. Not maybe right there, yeah. but right, maybe right close the to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that doesn't change that. Now, what I'm saying is, uh, we talked about Charlemagne. Charlemagne always has at least has his one security guard with him, Wax King, who is always with him. If he goes back home, he's there. When because even if even if he's not. Even like so, right if he at his him. family's yeah. house, if he, he's at his mom's house, he might not be there. But if he goes out somewhere, he's gonna have that, and so will a lot of other people. I think maybe I'm not saying that Nipsey had anything to do with his own demise. I would never say that, but I'm saying that maybe when you do something great and you are a person who is in the spotlight, realize there's gonna be hateful eyes on you, yeah. and protect yourself in that sense. Not not necessarily like Charlemagne said and leave the neighborhood, but be mindful of your surroundings. Be mindful of what is possible. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But at the same time, we got to think about who Nipsey was. Nipsey was a okay. gang member who has grown up in that life, who was in that life. So that's not really... I don't uh, think we would have seen him with five, six security guards no. because think, that was his life. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know. I, 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 I totally understand the stance of like what you know what it, now that you've hit a certain threshold like you're not the still same you're not the same person rolling yeah. 60s you still you know you're not still doing all that, those kind of things and now that you have made some progress and, and you know you have to kind of reevaluate how you live your it's life just like, sense, it's just like it's just like in the military like granted I, I'm not big time at all like by any means but being being an American and being in the military over in an overseas location, we have to move differently. We have right. to monitor. Yeah. We have to monitor ourselves differently. And it's the same whenever I go back home. Like I remember you had, David, you had posted on Facebook one time about going home and being with your friends or something. And I told you, I said I never, I always feel out of place. Like I feel like, oh uh, yeah, I feel like I, I, I mean, granted, that's that's nothing bad on the the people from back home, but I feel like I have nothing in common with them anymore because a lot of them don't have the 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 same level of shit to lose that I do. Yeah, my back home was not back to Sherman. It was back to where I used to live yeah, with yeah. those friends. Yeah. I didn't go back to Sherman. Like I said, I don't have any friends back in Sherman. Right. Right? I got my younger sister who was there with her family, and I got my friend Randon. Besides that, I don't I don't converse with anybody else in the area. And people are surprised when they see me when yeah. I'm out there. Because it's, I don't, I'm not from, I'm not, I don't, I'm from there, but I don't, I'm not tied to there. Yeah. My parents still live there, and I go when I come home. I'm there. You're there. And yeah. I leave. Yeah. So I, I just really feel like now, more so now as I'm getting older. When I was younger, I couldn't wait to go home because all my quote unquote friends were there, and you know all that. But now that I'm older, I just don't feel like, you know. Yeah. So I, I, I understand what y'all are saying, but I, uh, I think it's. I don't know what the deal was with his security guard. I think his security guard had mentioned he he he's going into retirement apparently. But I think it's like you said, Patriot, like he was, Nipsey was out somewhere and then just kind of stopped by the store. Yeah, I, that's, I, that's what, that's like it. I said, I don't, I risk, this is things that I've read, but I've also had him like watch any of the videos. My mm-hmm. sister-in-law t- had shown me something and I literally, I, I just, I couldn't stomach it because it, from what I was reading, the kid shot him, walked away, came Kicked back, shot him, him again, yeah. came, went yeah. back and came back and shot him again nah, and kicked him in his head. And that, that wasn't all that. He went and shot him, kicked him, left. <laughs> I thought he shot, went. I thought he went back and forth a few him, times and shot kicked him. him left. Mm-mm. But I, I, I just and I, like and then those things. It's a personal thing. That wasn't no. That was a personal thing. It was I. You know, you probably doing better than me. And that's also that's also well, brings a, us to was, the point. Like I said, there was a lot involved. In that. Yeah, and that, I think I also bring the point. Like so, how when you are doing well, is it worth you trying to bring everybody up? Mm-hmm. Right. So because I'm big on lifting people up, but then it's like. You take you. There's a risk in that. Mm-hmm. There's a, a, a huge well, risk to him, in that. Well, him, the risk was worth it. Well, of course, because at this point, I mean, the legacy lives on. Yeah. He's having his funeral at, at the, the Staples Center. Center. Yeah. The last person that has had it was Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's hold on now. I, I I have mixed feelings about that. Why? Because you see the ticket prices. I haven't. You see that they have. First of all, they have ticket prices. I thought it was I, free. I seen it. It was five hundred. About five hundred a ticket. I thought it was free. No, it's it's a it's a price ticket, oh. and so, that's why I think is is 
I mean, like, uh, I think that's kind of wrong. I mean, like, well, I was talking to my wife about The something. Staples Center probably is charging the family probably, but crazy my, But, I mean, money. my thing is this. They're shutting down on what? It's, it's, sh- it's, it's tomorrow, Saturday. isn't it? When or I pass, Thursday. cremate me, have a celebration at home. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I, 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 I also, I don't know, was he prepared for this? You know what I'm saying? Was, was, was there any preparation ever, any conversation about these kind of things? That I mean, could also play a part well, because I think him being the person he was. I feel was, like most rich people do I that. Think, I yeah. think he would have had yeah. something in place. Just being the person he was yeah. because he wasn't. He he had dreams and and he had goals that he was going mm-hmm. to reach. Yeah. And I think with that, I think he had everything financially in order. And I bet he had a will. I bet he had something. So he had to have something ready to get set aside yeah. for his kids. Yeah. He had everything. He had, yeah. I think he had everything in order. Well, being the, the staples, person he was. The staple Center. Now, if a little Yachty or a little Uzi Vert, nah. well, I, mean, I don't think they're going to have nothing ready. <laughs> yeah. They're okay. not getting the Staples Center anyway. They might get the high school gym. Come on. But man. it's just what it is. I mean, $500 is a, is a huge ticket price, but then it's like. But I don't think it should be a ticket price. No, I, I, it should be a free. It shouldn't be. It's, was, I don't think they, it should they, even be public. Did they sell tickets for Michael Jackson to him, or was that a free thing? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. But I, my thing is, is I unless they unless they had ticket prices to go towards the cause, like I I know they, they don't have it there. Well, I think his well, his um, family wants the people who are fans to be able to celebrate his his life with them. Yeah. I don't think. That's I, I mean, I, I, he's he's always been kind of private. You know, they never show their kids face right. until. Until Lauren London had posted, you've never, I've never seen either He's one of her children's private. face. Oh. Um, until but he never post. showed that because of his role and who he was. But, yeah, and because and that's even that's, that's not even his only kids that that you saw the face. Yeah. You saw Lauren's kids. I saw, no, I know, but I'm saying I've never seen I've never seen her post any of her children with right. him, like the cross. I've never we've only mm-hmm. seen his ponytail or whatever, yeah. you know. Um, so I was surprised that she did even that, but right. he has other children as well. And you've right? never seen. Yeah, his and his daughter he he posted. Yeah, yeah so. but then she was older. She, and he was, yeah, yeah. she's on the red carpet with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah but so. to go back to what y'all original y'all's original comment about you know your friends and telling them you love them, I think I've been more, I've been doing that more since I've been overseas, because mm-hmm. um, I feel so isolated living over here. Yeah, and um, but you don't want to keep wanting to stay. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, like, I'm not going back. That, that's the, and that's the confusing part about it is because it's like I want to go home. I miss my family, but at the same time, I'm like, but I I'm, I'm enjoying being overseas because right. I you know, don't miss the U.S. I don't miss the U.S. at all. I miss my family, mm-hmm. and I wish I could bring them with me just so I could send them back because they're gonna get on my nerves. Yeah. Right? I was gonna say you, wanna, you got 89 days before you gotta go back right. Yeah. where right. you came from. But because I feel I feel isolated, and sometimes I do feel like they my people have forgotten about me. I'd be like, hey. I, th- I feel like that too. <laughs> and we've only, like I said, you've had your entire career overseas. Yeah. We've only been here, what, two years? And nobody has come and visit us yeah. besides yeah. my one friend. See, yeah, and I, came, yeah. and, came and visit. But it's, and it's like, you know, people were like, oh, we, oh, but when you come home, come see me. No. no have you, you lost your right. If I fly all the way home, you driving to me. And the amount of times that we went home, we went home a lot considering mm-hmm. how long we've been here. Yeah. yeah. We went home a lot. You know, we went home, went home for mercy for my grandmother. I was home for a while. Yeah. I went home twice. Yeah. And we went home again. Mm-hmm. You know, and we, were, and we weren't there for no five days. We were there for three weeks. That's so what my wife used to say. She, she said when we got here, she's like, this year we're not buying anybody any presents. The present you get, if you can get over here, we'll give you the European experience. Exactly. Right. No, <laughs> so that's serious, how it right. is. And like my friend, she came over, we were able to go to Paris for mm-hmm. a day trip. We were able to, you know, do some local stuff. And she's like, wow, you know, just being able to come here and see all this, not have to pay for a hotel. The Ticket to Paris was like a hundred dollars on the yeah, train. You can make it cheaper than you. Oh, I'm, I'm tell you the other way to make it cheaper. What? When we get off, when we get off the air, you know I'll what, show you another way. You know what makes me mad? Before I'm sorry, David. I'm You're fine. Go what ahead. makes me mad is that like sometimes I'll like tell my friends like you should come here. Like you know how much a ticket costs. I'm like okay, but you expect me to come there and they're not that expensive. Been to Europe before? And you've never been to Europe? I've been to the U.S. 
yeah. several times. And you've it's, been, it's not that's great. the thing I don't get. Like, you can save up, save up three, four months yeah. of income. It doesn't matter. Just get here. I mean, then you'll have the experience, experience. of a lifetime. These are stories that you'll never. Yeah. Pictures. Yeah. You won't have to pay for food. I'll cook for you. You have a bed to lay your head. Like, it's like, yeah. and, and then you feel like you have, like begging somebody to come. Yeah. And yeah. It's like, yo, listen, the, the opportunity is here. Like, a round trip ticket from New York to here is like $400. Right. Yeah. Right. So think about that. Yeah. When you go to like Florida, which is two fifty. Yeah. To, you know, they're going out to eat. Go to, go to right. Miami. Now, if you don't have a passport, that's another. Two go to Miami. Right? Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but you should have a passport on, anyway. And Hopefully, it's a everybody, thing. everybody in my family doesn't have a passport, so I can't I, say I that. Feel, I'm listening. But there's a reasons why everybody doesn't have passports. Some people can't get passports. All right. Well, listen, you can get passports. <laughs> then I got some other people in my family who just haven't needed one. But and, that, that also, because some people don't don't see the the value in traveling yeah. either, right. right? So, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with if you feel like you want to be here and, and that's where you want to be. That's cool. But when I say I'm not coming home, I don't, don't be mad. Hear, do not be mad. You know, or when I do come home and you have to drive an extra fifty minutes to come see me, I don't want to hear your mouth about yeah. that. Right. You know, and that and, and that becomes discouraging. And then that's the thing too. Like I. I've to, like I, I'm very friendly with people, but I have a hard time making friends. So you mm-hmm. guys know I don't have many friends out here. I have yeah. people that I've you know been able to converse with and kind of build with. And with Suzanne is throwing me a baby sprinkle. I think I have 15 people coming because I only know <laughs> about 15 people that like yeah. I would say, oh, you know, these are people that I kind of really gravitate yeah. to. And mm-hmm. people know me on base. I'll stop people like, oh, I know you. Yeah. You spoke here. I saw you speaking here, and it's cool. But it, it doesn't change the fact that. You try to, you know, you really want to have those friendships. And when you talk to people back home, like, oh, you going to wear with your, your son? We were, you were, we were in Prague. What's Prague? Never heard of Prague right, before. But like and you, I'm like, it's, ah. it's just It's just frustrating. Like, um, and now I'm just like, I just want to have savings. I want to have a 670 credit. My credit score finally went up. <laughs> trying to get to 700. So I'm like, so damn close. And then I'm really just trying to travel. Yeah. And I want my kids to, like, Elijah kept on saying, I never thought in a million years that I'd be in Europe. Facts. I never thought I'd be able to be take like an old car, um, uh, like little uh, tour. Is that the car ride you were talking about? Yes. Or it Jason, was, Jason had mentioned it to yeah, me. Yeah, it was really, really yeah. dope because I, mm-hmm. I couldn't walk that much. Yeah. <laughs> Almost nine months pregnant, I was like, Yo, I can't do this anymore. But we took a little car ride. It was like 90 euro. We saw the entire, yeah, you know, cool. the entire Prague and it was super, super, super dope. But then the thing is that my son will have this this memory, yeah. and I'm t- I'm giving him tools, and I'm giving him these things that you know he's gonna be able to take for the rest of his life. Yeah. You, know? you know what I think it is also is I think a lot of um, I'm not I won't say a lot, but from what I can, what I've surveyed and what I've observed, I've gotten the notion that a lot of Black people are afraid to travel because they've created this notion that everyone's racist everywhere, which is true. Yeah, yeah, they are. But that doesn't mean that that's going to be your experience everywhere you go. Right. right and the right. fact of the matter is, is that, okay, so, but there's people that are racist in the Anywhere, US. exactly. Yeah, but I, and I think there's more than just the racism thing. It's I think some people are like, they don't, since, why would, this is a mindset that I've seen back home. Why would I go to Germany if I don't speak Deutsch? The language. Why would I go to, why would I go to Spain if I don't speak Spanish? Because and then, I mean, they don't know that there's ways English, around. Yeah. They speak I mean, how there many are so people many apps. Most, most people don't know those there's things. There's translator apps, man. They're what my we best don't friend. do enough of is present those things to our people. Yeah. Yeah. What we don't do enough of is giving opportunities to do that with our people. Instead of a high school traveling to Six Flags every year, why not wait four years? And then if, once you get to a graduation point, then the whole family go and the whole um, class, class goes, goes to through. Europe. My school did that. They had the French the French class. They went to Paris. Yeah. And then I think they had. Um, well, my Spanish class we were supposed to go to Costa Rica, but we ended up not going. Right, but I mean, these things should be going on in our schools regularly. Going, you're right. Yeah. But, I mean, and, they're not even teaching them how to balance it. Check it's book. a checkbook. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a I simple mean, they never life taught us skill. that either. No, but you want to talk about trigonometry and, and calculus, bro. But have you guys used you know A what? plus B plus C ever in your life as, as an adult? Actually, no. I have. I'm have not you? Really, yes, I actually. I have it. Only time I, I, I don't, use, for, don't forget what I do, though. I'm a photographer. And okay, I also yeah, do see, design you know, like, and yeah, yeah. stuff you, like you, that, so I use it. Only time but, I've done use it is creating formulas on Excel. And guess what? Once I figure out how to do the formula, I ain't got to do no math because they the, right. do the math for me. But here's the thing. <laughs> I mean, but those things, but if you never heard of it before, it would have been hard to get to it. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I don't think that we need to stop 
a lot of the curriculum in school. I think there's there's more curriculum we need, actually need. There's more things. So if you look at the schools here, you look at the schools Back in home. Asia, you look at the schools mm -hmm. in other parts of Europe, it's crazy the things they're learning at such young ages, but we don't have that because we have standardized testing yeah. that has to be done at a certain time and a certain for a certain state don't and different things. Don't so <laughs> with standardized testing, we have to learn these certain little small things, but we have to make it so broad that the person with the IQ of this can get it, plus the person with the IQ of this can get it, the person at this level, because it doesn't matter, because as long as you're in this grade, you have to take this test. Now, here's the thing about that. So with them doing that, I think that there needs to be an adult class that we need to take, that you need to be able to teach your kids about money. And if you can't teach your kids about money, the opportunity should be afforded to you to learn about money, to teach your kids about money. You should be able to teach your kids how to balance a checkbook, how to budget, how to how to get a good credit score, how to what interest is. Those are things that we should build up in our communities so that our kids know these things. And not even that we're teaching the kids, but we're teaching the parents so the parent can teach the kids. Because really, if my parents had taught me those things, because the things my parents did teach me, my dad taught me how to shoot when I was young. I can yeah. shoot to this day. My dad taught me how to wire a house when I was young. If anything goes wrong, I can fix it in this house. Yeah. So, and he taught me those things and those things I'm grateful for, but my parents didn't know about money. Mm -hmm. My yeah. parents didn't know that much about credit. You know, if we didn't have credit, we couldn't get anything. Mm -hmm. That's all, and my mom always had good credit. My, my dad ain't always had good, my dad had a business. He screwed up with some things and I followed okay. kind of around that same path. Yeah. But the thing is, it's because those are the things I learned from them. Now, if there was somebody there with new, as a new parent and was able to say, hey, these are the things you, sh you should look at. These are things you should think about. These are the things that you might want to teach your kids. So this is my thing with that. <clears throat> so part of the, that's a great idea, by the way. The thing is, is that how the, the parents have to be receptive to this. And unfortunately, half of the battles that educators have are the, the parents. parents. And that's when your kid gets left behind. Well, look, right. Because now this is the choice that you're making, right? Mm -hmm. So if it's a mandatory thing to you know to teach parents or or it'll have to be voluntary because a lot of parents do give off this friction mm -hmm. when it comes to stuff um and it sucks because i've seen parents like just do things because they feel like their kids are the greatest thing since right. sliced bread. Now, don't get me wrong. My kid is the greatest thing since sliced bread, but um, I also know that he's a pain in the ass, yeah. okay? <laughs> so with that, I know that there's areas that I need to, to work on. And I had just I had just posted this recently, um, just knowing when it's time to ask for help. Mm -hmm. Parents do not do that enough. Right. They don't. I'm in this parenting love and logic class. There's one other woman of color in the class, and the class is full. Mm -hmm. And here's something else I, I really think is kind of, I forgot what I'm about to say, but I can just change it to something else. But I think that <laughs> what we don't, like, was right along with what you said is that we have the parents have to be receptive to it. And like we said, I said the kid would get left behind. Mm -hmm. And everyone in this room knows that I believe in uh, the fight of the fittest. I, yeah. I think that yeah. if you are if you aren't there, then if you get left behind, That's boom, you. I'm done. Yeah. Like there's no reason. Like if you didn't put in the work to get to the next point, I'm not gonna grab you and gr drag I mean, you. and drag you. I will guide you. Yeah. I will I will show you the way. I will do everything I can without forcing you. Then at that point, it's on you. Yeah. It's yeah. on that parent. And when that parent starts seeing the other kids. Going, going beyond their there. child and they see that something might have been wrong now the first child might be screwed okay whatever the second and third child they might be able to work right, out yeah. Yeah. and I don't and I have no problem with saying that because I, I believe in that I believe that we are at a place where we are hand holding too much yeah. and we are and we are coddling too much to these two different was, people and different I, aspects of life I it is so true about, I was just talking about that today it is true. Um, I work with this woman um, at my job she's German and she was talking about how she has a 16 year old daughter and she was talking about how her daughter like woke her up and was like complaining that she didn't want to go to school or whatever. And she was also just like talking about how she was saying like as a parent, it's your job to, you know, 
prevent the big things from happening to your child. Right. She's like, but you also have to balance and make sure that they can handle the little things that come. You know, right. they need to they need to learn problem solving. That's skills. parenting. Yeah. And she said, and I, you know, I'm not a parent. I'm saying that right. parenting. And I mentioned, I said, oh, I, oh parents that ain't got no kids. I mean, people ain't got no kids. Oh, trying to tell parents what they did. I tell any parent what to do. I said that is parenting. That's true. That's what I'm going to do. And I said, uh, I said, I feel like helicopter parenting just makes your kid do the exact opposite of what you want them to do. And yeah. she, she agreed. And I said, and I think lawnmower parenting can often be worse than helicopter that. parenting. Now, lawnmower parenting is when you can... Well, help the people out. I know what helicopter oh, okay. is, but you, I don't think everybody knows know what, what helicopter is. Helicopter parenting? Helicopter parenting is like you hover over your kid, like your kid, you're... Your kid can't do anything by themselves because, yeah, yeah. you're there like, no, no, don't put those shoes on. Put these shoes on. No, no. Uh, you, you know, your kid, you, you're not giving your child the opportunity to learn and make decisions on their right. own. Now, lawnmower parenting is when you completely eliminate all conflict, hurdles, or anything like that from your child's life. Oh, so, like the women that try to get their kids into UCLA and USC and stuff exactly, like that. Exactly. They're all going to jail. Exactly. They were like, you ain't going to jail. Right. You don't but, think so? No. no, they're not going to jail. Think it's so. it's so. when you completely... If will. Justin didn't go to jail, they ain't going to jail. Oh, it's well. when you completely eliminate all cough, conflict hurdles hardships or whatever so your child doesn't learn coping skills your child mm-hmm. doesn't learn resiliency or anything like that and I think the best this is a really sad situation but the best example of that I can think of is I was watching an episode of Intervention and there was a couple on there they were an older couple they're very religious and they had been trying for 10 years to get pregnant mm-hmm. and then they finally got pregnant with their daughter and naturally they were like super 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 protective of her they put her in the best school she was a really 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 smart girl and um they wanted to make sure nothing bad ever happened to her. Nothing bad ever happened to her. And she went away to college. And unfortunately, while she was away at school, she was raped. And because nothing had ever happened to her, she never developed those coping skills. Yeah. So she turned to drugs and prostitution. And Black Mirror. They did an episode kind of like that. Which one? It was the one where they, they she had a daughter. And oh, she put that thing in her head. She put yeah. thing in her head where she could blind yeah, her from could, everything that yeah. was bad. Yep. Have, are you know what we're talking about? No, but I, I mean, I, I get the concept. Yeah. And yeah, and so when she took the filter off, her daughter finally seen all the quote unquote bad things in the world, and mm-hmm. yeah, then she killed her own mother. It's, but yeah, it's, it's, spoiler it's, alert. <laughs> anyway, it's late, but if y'all haven't seen it by now, too bad. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy because I, I, so I, I struggle with trying to soften the blow for mm-hmm. Elijah, but um, I, you know, I told you guys I got him a therapist. Yeah. And his therapist told me. <laughs> Okay, that's HIPAA now. Come on well, now. He, I mean, I'm playing, I can say what he told me. I know, I'm he told me he was but like, "But you won't put your kids' business." I'm playing. Well, I'm not gonna put my kids' business. I'll put my 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 parenting skills on the line or out there. And he was like, um, "You have to let go." Mm-hmm. Like he's like, oh, he's like, <laughs> he worked with like kids that are juvenile delinquents. He worked with yeah. a lot of like. Um, different troubled youth. So mm-hmm. that's like his specialty. Now, that's not why I picked him, but I picked him because he was a male. That's right. the reason why. But he had a bunch of um, background information. And he was like, your child morally is exactly where you want him to be. Now, if you are going to quarrel about his room not being clean, the way that he dresses, I think like that, you're you're making mountains out, out of, of molehills. Out of literal yeah. molehills. So like this weekend, I let Elijah pack his bag to go to Prague. <laughs> I mean, but, but but you know what? Yeah, let let him do it. Let him do it. I, I if, did. He, if he packs two 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 t shirts and he's there for five days, okay. Then you have to wear two dirty t shirts. See that? Forget all of that. Okay. <laughs> forget forget the, the, that he didn't have enough clothes because he had enough clothes. But one shirt had a hole right here. Well, the you other want... shirt had a hole. And, and I said, you know what? And you take battle. it as a representation pick, of you, pick though. Your battle. So, no, I and, no, you. and, I and that's exactly how I took it. My, my thing is, as I said, I look good. My husband looks good. Our little one looks good. How do I look as a parent with mm-hmm. a child that doesn't look good? But now I'm realizing that at this point, I he's at an age now where he is going to have to make these decisions. Exactly. He, he has exactly. to do it his way. He has to do, do his hair his way, whatever. And I love that because the thing is, you're giving him freedom. Right. Yes. But it's not this idea of freedom to where he can, he do, can whatever do whatever he, he wants. wants. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. But he has his own free. He gets to make his yes. own decisions. Because right. in like, um, like, I, like uh, my wife and I were talking when we have children, there's not going to be an allowance. Yeah. No. Period. no. <laughs> but they like can work. Here. But they can work to make money. Yeah. They can. They and once they get that money, ten percent go to ties. Fifty percent right. goes to fifty cent goes to savings, and the rest is yours. Yeah. No, but exactly. you're going to work and learn how to balance that and right. budget your money. Exactly. Because I wasn't taught. My wife was taught that. Yeah. My wife was taught about money growing up. 
her mom was strict on that. So my wife taught me about yeah, money. money. When yeah. we got, I'm, she's still teaching me about money now because I'm like we said before, I'm a spender. Yeah, yeah. I like to spend money. <laughs> yeah, but beyond that, like that's no, what it's we are. True, it's so true. So and, and Elijah broke his phone. Yeah. The first time he broke it, we fixed it. Mm-hmm. The second, I told myself, Elijah, if you break it again, I'm that's not it. fixing right. it. So now he's like, I say you're gonna have to come up with forty euro. He was working at the barbershop. Mm-hmm. You better call Jay, ask him for a couple of days that you know you could work. Right. Because it, and exactly that. Whenever he works, he takes it's one it's like one third split. So one third of it goes into savings. One third he could spend, mm-hmm. and the other third went towards his cell phone right. bill. You're gonna ha- you're gonna have to figure that out. He had lunch. Took everything out of me not to bring the lunch to the school because uh-huh. I'm like, oh, he left it. I don't want him to. Eat. I don't want him to to be hungry. He didn't, you yeah. know. But I'm like. He gonna have to figure it out. You know what? It took my grandma forever. Like, I had to tell her. Um, how old am I? 20? I'll be 20, 28. So, I've been going home periodically off and on throughout the past seven years. And I would, like, get ready to leave. And she'd be like, it's cold outside. Don't you want to put on a jacket? And I would be like, Grandma, if I'm cold... I will put on a jacket. <laughs> no, it's true. And if, and if I don't put on a jacket and I go outside and I'm cold, then that, that's a choice that I made. Right. I'm just cold. But that's just, you know, she's my mom. So yeah. that was just her thing. And I used to have to get on her about my brother a lot because my brother was living with her, you know, while she was sick and everything. And she would just like, you know, vent to me about him. And I'm like, Grandma, he's, he's a grown gone. ass man. Yeah. Granted, mom, y'all, yeah. you know, y'all live together, but you can't, he's grown. If he decides he doesn't want to pay his phone bill, then he don't want to pay it. That's nothing. If he decides he don't want to take a shower today, which my brother not nasty, I'm just I'm just giving an example. Then that's that's on him. And it's, that's on him. Girl, listen, if he don't want to cut have, his hair, that's on him. When you have an emotional attachment to children, <clears throat> and if you feel like you make a, if you make one bad move, that you're gonna fuck up their whole lives, it's a lot. Mm-hmm. So when I when I when he reassured me, like I'm not raising. And he's not a psychopath. Well, no, right. it's not, obviously, I, that wasn't my yeah, concern. No, yeah, my, you know, everybody who comes you're not raising somebody Elijah. who's immoral, disrespectful, yeah. right? And because that's what, and he's that's not disrespectful, no. but he's yeah. his own person. Yeah. Yeah. He is you and Jason, really, which is weird. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's weird, but he's y'all. Yeah, he lies. is. Yeah. He really is, and that's the thing too. And he was like, you know, we're gonna continue with this, with this, um, you know, this, this, this journey, yeah. and, and he's gonna also help us with becoming more effective parents for him. But he sat us down. To Saying he was like, I spent, you know, some time with him, and he's an amazing kid. I think you guys need to kind of just release. For he, a he came for yeah. me the other day. I walked in Pedro's house and I had <laughs> some chucks on. And he was like, "Who wears chucks anymore?" <laughs> and I was like, "People who pay for their own clothes." <laughs> he, 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 always, and he always, but he has such a personality that it's like he don't mean no harm. No, just like I didn't take just like when I first it. met Jason. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, the same thing. Yeah. He, he wasn't at me. He was just, I just heard him I'm like, "Okay, now wait a minute. Now this is back in the gap. Yeah. It'd be a different story." <laughs> but it's like, who you think you talk like? And yeah. I went like, "Wait a minute." What we doing here? But then you meet him, you really learn, learn who they are. Yeah. That's just who yeah. he is, yeah. and that's who and that's who Elijah is. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's and again, so and it, part of that thing that that thing is is and even with the parenting class, it's like allowing your children to make the the small mistakes, so when big mistakes come, they know how to deal mm-hmm. with them. And I think, like we were saying, I think everybody needs to be at a point to where even with the parents, the parenting class, but I think there's adults right now and you know what? who was, need it as well. I was thinking about that. Adults, the, I was thinking right. about that the other day. Like I forget what I was thinking about. I needed help with something, or I don't remember what it was. But I was like thinking to myself, like, yo, it always takes a village. Like it doesn't just stop. When once you become eighteen, like you always need a village. You oh yeah, because even need as a village. parent now, and me feeling like. I was totally failing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like I, I have to find ways to become more, you know, effective. Right. I had to tap into resources. I had to find a therapist for myself. I had to find, you know, go into a parent's class. I got to find a therapist for my son. I got to figure out ways to allow, my, you know, to, to, to my husband's having a hard time with, you know, he's still having an issue with adjusting to the military. Right. Last minute, sh- yeah. I told you that it was crazy before it's time for him to do what he needs to do. And I'm like, how do I balance all of that and still keep sane? I'm, yeah. I'm almost nine months pregnant, for right. God's sake. And I have a toddler. So, yes. And, and then it comes down to also us needing our friends. Right. Uh, us really needing to have that those those that support system to know that, you know, I'm going to call Dave. Y'all ain't going to judge me because I'm having a, a meltdown. Right. 
She was gonna judge me because I was gonna put a, I was gonna put a, <laughs> a, a harness in the chance. Don't I don't care I quietly what judge anybody you. says. Okay, boy, well, hey, y'all don't know chance. First of all, Fact. exactly. <laughs> no, he is no, a harness. Need a harness. He okay? need a harness. He's and so cute, I'm, but he need a harness. I, my nine month pregnant self cannot. He was. We were in pride. He wanted to walk, and luckily Jason was there, so he, you know he's able to run. But like, if I'm gonna BX. Yeah, yeah, nah. And I have to fight with him to go into the into the the, 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 into the, the car. All right, everybody, the BX is a, like a big Walmart. Yeah, yes. military. military. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got time to be fighting with him. Right. My homegirl got a wristlet and like a scrunchy thing. <laughs> Yo, and when she has her, ba- her baby in a- Athens right now on that, and her and Chance are only two days apart in, yeah. in, in birthdays, so they have very similar temperaments. Uh, Next thing you know, he done ran somewhere, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find him. I don't got time for that. But I didn't get the harness. No, he didn't. I didn't find. I'm I didn't find. I'm gonna get you one for that. The baby sprinkle. But then it was like, um, we don't put a harness. Yeah, a cute little backpack on him. Don't I, put the monkey one on him. No, don't do the. Don't put the not, monkey one on him. Get the I'm ducky. Get a little something. fox one. Yeah. Oh, but y'all, fox. everybody want to thank y'all for joining yeah, in this time. Go. Yes. We're gonna cut this one now, but we will be back again. You will hear us. So we want to just say thank you, and again from Nita Nairi, Petra Sherman Fox. And D. Linson, we want to say thank you for listening to The Culture Club. Bye. Later. I take a picture, man. Hit it last longer. Hit the gas on them. Hit a dance on them. Take a chance on them. Get the cash on them. Flip it fast on them. Take off the mask on them. Show the world who you